Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, to basically today, I'm going to be talking about in a series of a couple of videos, um, how to overclock an AMD processor and like what you need to know and uh, what tools you'll need and what to look out for um, while you go along. So first off, I'll explain to you what overclocking is. Overclocking is when you take the stock clock of your CPU, let's say it's 2.2 gigahertz, so which means your CPU does 2.2 billion calculations per second. And you want to go above that, you want to do 2.4 billion calculations per second, etc, etc, to increase your performance. So, um, basically I'll just talk about what, uh, what you'll need. First off, um, you're going to want something like an aftermarket motherboard. Um, if you're using like an old Dell or something like that, it your motherboard is definitely not going to be up to par. Also, you're going to want to know the age of your AMD motherboard. Like if you have like a very, very old like Apple 64 or something, and you're using a motherboard that looks like this, you'll have something that's called a uh, front side bus, and you're going to be using totally different kind of overclocking techniques. It'd be similar to Intel. Intel's overclocking techniques, whereas if you have a newer AMD motherboard, let's say something like this, you're going to be doing, to like, uh, like I said before, that's what makes AMD overclocking unique as opposed to Intel overclocking. So, um, basically, I'm not going to lie, um, you will be stressing some parts of your computer, right? So cooling is extremely important. I have an OCZ Vendetta there, but, um, you could do some preliminary overclocking on a stock cooler. I wouldn't really recommend it, but you could. Um, now, people, I got a comment, a fool commented on my other video saying that, you, oh, you won't see your performance increase with overclocking, you're just risking damaging your parts. Um, I'm going to say no to that, because, like, I've been running this CPU at 3.5 gigahertz for longest time and just recently like I'm gonna be selling the CPU recently so I'm trying to baby it and stuff I've been running it at 2.8 and it's I like it's night and day like it takes forever to do anything at 2.8 so um yeah you will be stressing your parts but in my opinion it's definitely worth it so one of the things you're definitely gonna want like before we begin is um start off with this. It's called, it's a program called CPU-Z. It's one of the programs you're going to need to download before you do anything. It basically gives you all the information about your processor. So what you're going to be looking at is your core voltage, your core speed, so that's like the clock of your CPU. For me right now it's 2.8. Your multiplier, because um, we'll get into that later actually your bus speed which is 200 megahertz I'll tell you that right now if you're using a newer AMD processor have your transport link speed and uh, your north bridge speed which should be up there and your RAM frequency those are like a couple of things you want you're gonna want to pay attention to then you're gonna want to download some stress testing programs my favorite one is this one over here it's called OCCT um, it's great for stress testing because once you overclock your processor you'll be like, oh yeah, I'm at like 4 gigahertz, whatever. But you have to make sure it's stable. Last thing you'd want to be doing is doing your homework and you're just about to click your save button and freaking blue screen to death. So you're going to want to stress your program either with OCCT or Prime95. Um, those are two really good ones. Also, Intel Burn Test is good, but it's uh, OCCT also has a Linpack option in here, so it's kind of both. So uh, yeah, you're gonna be wanna you're gonna wanna look at the quality of your motherboard. That's one very important thing. So if you're using like an OEM machine, you're not gonna be able to overclock anyways because their BIOSes are locked. Um, you're gonna wanna be looking at your cooling. Uh, that's really important for stress and parts. Also, you're going to be wanting to look at what type of applications you're using this for. Like, uh, if you're into gaming stuff, you have two graphics. Like, my graphics cards aren't particularly fast, but 
you have something called the bottleneck effect, which can happen when your video cards are faster than your CPU. So that's when you're going to want a, a big chunk of overclock will be done. Also, if you're doing CPU intensive things, encoding videos, or if you're just at the desktop and you're just tired of waiting for stuff, overclocking is a wicked way to get over that. If, especially if you're using like a 300 pound operating system, it's so he hardware heavy, it's a hardware whore like Vista, then um, yeah, overclocking is great. And um, I'll pretty much get into some techniques and the difference between black edition processors and normal AMD processors in uh, my next video. So basically, yeah.